Today's NASCAR history presented by CarQuest takes us back 59 years ago, April 29th, 1951, when a NASCAR champion was born, a seven-time champion to be exact. Following in his father's footsteps, Dale Earnhardt Sr. cut his teeth on the red clay short tracks near Kannapolis, North Carolina. Late in 1981, he joined forces with Richard Childress, beginning one of the most successful partnerships in sports history. Earnhardt won 76 Sprint Cup races, including the elusive Daytona 500 in 1998. Dale Earnhardt Sr. will go into the Hall of Fame in May as one of the best stock car drivers to ever live. And today, the town of Mooresville remembered the seven-time champion at DEI at the ninth annual Dale Earnhardt Day. Fans gathered at Dale Earnhardt Incorporated to pay tribute and celebrate the legacy of the Intimidator, who would have turned 59 today. Unveiled was the new 2010 Dale Earnhardt Camaro, the Hall of Fame edition, a celebration of his induction into the Hall. And the fans also learned about Club E, which is the new official Dale Earnhardt fan club. An exciting day was had by all. And the Earnhardt family came out in force today to not only honor Dale Sr. on his birthday, but to unveil the new number three car. Dale Jr. will be driving in the Nationwide Series race in Daytona in July as part of a joint effort of JR Motorsports, RCR, and DEI. He sports the famous Wrangler sponsor and paint scheme made famous by his father. Dale Jr. hopes the fans will be excited to see the iconic car back on the historic track at Daytona. I do like the way the car looks and the suit and everything is, looks pretty cool. So I'm excited to be uh, out there and, and, and on the racetrack with the car. And, and I hope that uh, the fans enjoy it. It will only be out there for a moment. And, uh, and uh, once that weekend's over, we, we don't really have any plans to do anything like this again. So hopefully the fans really enjoy it. And, uh, and, and hopefully it's enjoyable for us too as a family and, and for me as a driver. 